Demta is not a place of second chances, mm. let, alone, let alone even that first chance. Yeah. So once you fall off the radar, it's very difficult for you to come back. Yeah. In Akwaga, very unforgiving. Very unforgiving yeah. in Demta. Yeah. I just had to perform well. You remember, I told you I have six brothers and, four, and, and three sisters, so that makes us ten. Yeah. And both parents, that's twelve. Yeah. And you know African families, at any one given point in time, we used to live with either two or three cousins. Mm. So that's fourteen. Yeah. You can imagine trying to feed 14 people in Kibra. My mama alikuwa na piko gali akieka kwa sinia. Mm. Akirudi kwa jikoni kuleta mboga. Isha, isha. Kila mtu amesha finyo donje. <laughs> it was during one of those school day, holidays that I landed my eyes on this tall, dark and handsome man. Hey. 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 <laughs> and that particular point in time. Sapo, apu ni kwa form? I was in form four. Okay. In my final year. Yeah. I saw this tall, dark and handsome man. And what really drew me to this man was, he was actually way older than I was. Yeah. Before I knew it, I got pregnant at the age of 17 in my final year of high school. I grew up knowing I was going to be the best journalist ever. Yeah. I've always wanted to study communications. Yeah. But immediately I learned that I was pregnant at only 17. I knew that dream was gone. Mm. 